As you fade away Right, if you ask me, I am so grateful for the growth. I am so grateful for the persistence. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you who kept on supporting my videos, whether you were returning or you were new. There was a time, really, I honestly did not think that I would ever make it in this space. But what I have seen so far has motivated me to a point where I actually am enjoying what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm really appreciative of the growth. I am really appreciative of the support that I've seen so far. You know, um, it's always very encouraging when your work is rewarded um, by people actually seeing it before they subscribe to it or before they buy your merchandise or before they even start recommending you to people. For the fact that the word is spreading nicely, I feel like that is something to really be grateful for and of. And I'm speaking softly because it's like 2 a.m. in the morning and everybody is sleeping. But then again, I was like, I need to post something because I had an idea and I felt like waiting for tomorrow will not do justice. So, yeah, we are living out that idea right now. So basically, this is going to be a chilled vlog. It's already night. I made some chamomile tea because I felt like tea actually calms me down. And because I slept earlier yesterday, I sabotaged myself because by 12 at night, I woke up. I needed to wake up. And I've been awake ever since. So I'm like, you know what? Before I get tired again, let's just rather do something. Something that is going to motivate somebody out there to kind of like start working on life, right? And yes, you saw it right. I will be using these babies because I'm like, I don't have highlighters, babe. 
why this idea when I do not have the correct the correct material or the correct things that I can use for this brilliant idea and I just remember thinking to myself that you know what no more limitations what you have is enough just look into your hand so many times God has wowed me so I am not surprised that his hand was so well because I know when his hand moves it moves it moves all right so yeah let us just get into me planning how I plan my 2023 and I hope you're gonna find some inspiration from this video and I hope you're also gonna plan out your 2023 while you were at it Christmas tree is on as usual because me and Christmas trees are the best trees okay yes <laughs> so let us just get right into planning I have everything that I will be desiring to eat because I am such an eater I eat you guys I don't know if it's my height I don't know if it's my brain structure whatever it is I eat and especially when it's night I love chowing 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 so let us just get into planning our our 2023 because it's going to be a great year for growth a great year to just tap into all the other facets of what we are created to be and just another year to be grateful and have fun um, the first thing that I have is my journal simply because I want to kind of like outline a couple of things using the pages here and then I just generally use this counter book there's a lot of my plans inside so I just generally use this counter book to kind of like draft out everything else or kind of like my final final print of everything I just put it in there so as for the journaling I actually did um, lay out how I wanted to plan my 2023 in my phone. But then again, I can't use my phone at the moment. So I'm just going to be scrolling my mind map over here. And let's just get into it. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you find inspiration to also plan your year. Plan ahead of time gonna save you a lot of time a lot of energy and it's gonna do you a lot of good peace So I can kind of get a glimpse of my focus areas or my focal points for the year 2023. Um, where I want to see myself growing so much because I feel like every year um, has, a, has different seasons on its own. And I feel like if I focus on just four things, that will be enough for me to grow exponentially from where I am right now. Because... Um, the first thing that I want to continue focusing on because this year in 2022 I had decided that I am going to take my spiritual work seriously and I want to continue that with that throughout my entire life so the first thing the first priority then now becomes my spiritual growth where I focus on intimacy and friendship with God and then um my second thing is discipline because i know that i am ill-disciplined 
um, or indisciplined on certain areas of my life and I feel like discipline brings so much structure into one's life and disciplined people tend to not procrastinate, tend to be consistent, tend to show up at all costs and there's other like it just trickles down into what I want to be disciplined in like for instance I want to be disciplined in the new routine that I want to draft out i want to be disciplined by creating a good work ethic and then i want to be disciplined by actually being punctual whether to important meetings or not because i don't think there's anybody in this life who wants to waste their time so that's basically it um continues just like that focus on mental health and just general health where there's exercises there and all the other juicy stuff and the next thing after drafting this out that I'll be focusing on is creating a rough schedule of what I want um, my time to be allocated as and I'm just gonna show you how I do that right now and then we're gonna go to actually drafting things on paper and then pasting them on my wall of fame <laughs> where i will literally see what i need to see but then again i won't be pasting it right now because it's quite early i will be actually i'm thinking of buying a frame or laminating them whatever the case is but then again i will have to paste them somewhere so that i can see my vision as plain and as clear as daylight each and every time i wake up because the whole point of this is that I see what I want to achieve so that I can actively work towards it. So yeah, let us plan my supposed and desired schedule. from there because i feel like planning for a new year is actually a lot of work not only are we planning schedules not only are we planning or are we giving an outlook of what we want but we also need to kind of like especially for me i feel like i need to also figure out the kind of meals that i want to have kind of like make um food prep schedule for the first month um so that i can know that as soon as i enter what type of foods i want to eat i feel like there's also um the possibility of my schedule shifting here and there but then again this is roughly basically how i want my days to go i know that's why i skipped times and i skipped times because i feel like like for instance where i start work at 11 a.m and then I only close off work at um, 4 p.m. I feel like the time that I didn't mention automatically falls into I am working um, in as much as I take um, priority for my pre-lunch snack and my lunch. Um, but everything else from there um, is definitely me working. So yeah. now that I've sprinkled what I need to sprinkle, we are now going into this hard book. Another thing that I am into is making these little lists. It is. It says my vision board. It has your name, um, um, what you want to see yourself as physically, stuff that you want, mental things, things to try, dreams, spiritual, financial, family life, for the home, and things like that. 
and i will definitely be using these on my daily basis as well but because this is like a vision board i only gonna like outline it once and i'll probably take you guys through it and then there's this daily structure type of thing when i can like take off the date um i write my quote of the day my mood three prior top three priorities appointments did i exercise what did i eat things to get done today how much water did i drink and so on and so forth and i feel like these things are so helpful because they like give you a vision of what you want and they always help one stay in course of what they want so before my tea gets cold let's have some tea and let us draft our lives for 2023 because it's a good year it is a good year. Standard. <laughs> you have seen by the new yellow mind map it's almost similar to this but these were just outlining things but then again here i went a bit broad as to unpacking what i mean by things like journaling and things like that and then i normally just um, take it a bit further and be like right at the bottom of my bubbles um what i want to see myself as or where i want to see myself in this particular year um with regards to this particular area of growth like for instance spiritual growth underneath i'm gonna be writing actively seeking God my doing your wishes and a day because I want my heart to be consumed and God just share his love with others around so yeah that's basically it that's exactly what i'll be doing under the little bubbles and then i'm gonna be also crying out my schedule making it look a bit pretty as you guys have seen i am a really simple lady we don't do much decoration in this house we just love seeing a pop of color because it motivates us and kind of like excites the mind when my mind sees my schedules done with color it actually literally just gets 
super 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 excited so i hope you guys will be motivated to also start your plans for 2023 um this video didn't show much but then again i just wanted to give you an outline of how i plan out my year in paper form before i live the year out by the grace of god we shall live the year out and be successful in all that we want to do as long as it is within his will i hope you guys found some inspiration i hope you guys are gonna go back and start your plans because the earlier the better you know um so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys i will see you again because i'm starting to blab and i feel like my voice is also kind of like fizzling out so i will see you again on our next video take good care of yourselves and may the grace of god always be with y'all see you again on our next video